I'm doing my letters today. And a. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Go ahead. A B A B C D E F D H I J K L M N O O T Q R S U S Go ahead. You good? Go ahead. T U V W X Y Y Z. Do you want to do it again? Um, yes. Go ahead. Do it again. You did great. Do it again. A B C. I mean C D E F Z. I mean D. Ah. You're doing great. You want to start over? You want to keep going? You're doing great. I think you're doing great. Start over because you got this. Y'all do y'all work. Don't look at her. You got this. You got this. You got this. You the smarty. Go ahead. I'm waiting. A, B, C, D, E, F, D, A, H, I, D, K, L, M, N, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, I'm R. So, we just got finished reading the book, uh, Chica Chica Boom Boom. I'm trying to get this to sit up straight. Okay. Anywho. No, don't do that. Don't do that. We just got done reading the book, uh, Chica Chica Boom Boom. Um, this should be a book that's very familiar. I know. Did you read this when you were in school? Um, yeah. Okay, so we got done reading this book. And as you know, inside the book, um... The inside the front, I don't know, what is this called in the book? On the inside of the book, before you start reading, I don't know what this page is called. I can't, my mind is short right now. Um, you have these letters and alphabets. So I took the opportunity to use that information and make this chart for my daughter. And that's what she's doing. Now, we all know that it's easy to say the alphabet, but... Pointing to the letters and saying it and knowing that L is a single letter, M is a single letter. Oh, it's not L M N O P. It ain't. It ain't one. It's L M N O P. So she's getting up some practice with this today. She's done this a couple of times. This will be something good to do every day. And now she's about to do her chica chica boom boom tree. Did you know that? You didn't know you were finna do that. Yes, I. I did. You did not. Oh, man. <laughs> so, I've already pre-made this Chica Chica Boom Boom tree. So, this is Ashlyn's. Chica Chica Boom Boom tree. Yes, it is. Ashlyn's Chica Chica Boom Boom tree that Mommy created. Okay, I need to cut that part out. Where's the scissors? I need some scissors. Here they go. Let me cut this out. So now I cut that little part out. It was a little white part I forgot to cut. Okay, so here's Ashlyn's Chica Chica Boom Boom Tree. What Ashlyn is going to do with her Chica Boom Boom Tree is she's going to put some letters on her Chica Chica Boom Boom Tree. But not just any letters. I love good letters. No, they're going to be letters or your name. And you got to put them in order going up the tree like they did in the book. Got to get you some glue. 
What are these, Ashlyn? That's not a letter. What is that? That's a circle. But what is it? It's if we a use dot. no, if we using it on the tree, what is it? Uh, coconut. Mom, a coconut. That's right. That's right, Mom. It's black coconut. It's brown. Coconut is brown. That's brown. That is brown. brown. That is not black. That's brown. Okay, so you got all your letters and your name. Go ahead and put them in order. How you spell your name? Hold on. Hold on. There you go. You can do it over here. Don't do it on the tree. Let me see that you got that part right. A. I don't see no ends. Where are my ends? That stuff I be talking about right there. Oh, they're going in. There's an end. But I need two ends for my name. That is correct. You do have two ends in Not Ashland. Not one. That's right. You have two ends in Ashland. There go your Y. There go your H. You got your L. Go ahead and put what's after A-S. Um, this one? What is this one? What is this one? What is the name of that? A-L? No, ma'am. Try that again. A-A? Try that again. How do you spell your name? So, we just learned about letters in Chica Chica Boom Boom, and a letter is A, or B, or C, or D, or, or E, a. or a, a, or F, or T. All of these by themselves are letters. But when you take the letters, see, this is a letter A, this is a letter S, this is a letter H, a letter Y, a letter N, a letter N, all of these are letters. But when you put them together, they spell my name. They make a word. They make a word, and that word is Ashlyn. Acid Fox. No, no, that's just Ashlyn. We don't got no Ashen Fox up Fox. there. But we're not putting your last name on there. We're just putting your first name. On your chica chica boom boom tree. What's this? And your coconuts. That ain't what we doing. You all but lost subject. You all on the wall and we on chica chica boom boom. We right here. We right here. That's why mommy told you to leave it alone. But you think you're going to do what you want to do and you're not going to do what you want to do. No. Have a seat. Scoot up to the table. When I tell you to leave something alone, that's what you need to do. You got that bag. Now you putting your letters on the tree. Get you a glue stick, and I need them in order. I need it to be like, you can go A-S-H-L-Y-N-N, or you can go A-S-H-L-Y-N-N. However you want to do it, it just got to be in order, okay? Get you a glue stick. You all right now? Huh? Okay, while Ashley is doing that, she, she already had her funnets video for today. Today's funnets video we did. Hold on. This is not going up. We have the suckiest glue sticks. We have. I don't even know. 
Do I have glue sticks? How do we get glue sticks? Because I don't even use glue sticks. These had to be given to me. Hey, Gerard, where these glue sticks come from, you know? I don't know. Okay, here you go. Don't use a lot. Just put it on the back of the letter and glue it on. Okay, so anyway, that's that. That's what she is about to do right now. Her chica chica boom boom tree. And she's putting her letters on there. Okay. Over here on this side. I promise you we've been doing this since 10 o'clock. It's now 10.37. And my son has moved from 3 to 4. You can express yourself. You hate when I say that on camera, but it's true. But it's true. Did you just move from three to four in the last 16 minutes? I'm not on four. Yeah. I'm going to let y'all marinate on that, and we're going we gonna to find solutions to this problem. He needs a timer, and he doesn't have any bubble gum today. We just going to say that. All right. And it's about to be over for math. We have to move on. We can't do math all day, LeBron. You're going to flunk homeschool. You're going to flunk. You can't do math that fast. You don't really do a lot of things fast. You're going to have to speed up the pace. You're going to have to speed up the pace. We will find solutions to this, but it's time for math to be up. And I'm looking at them answers. Lord, have mercy. All right. So, um, can I can I get you to put your name and date on there? Because we have to move on. That means you won't have a lot of free time. Because every time you get some free time, you're going to have to come back and finish your work. Rashawn, what number are you on? Four? Well, that's absolutely amazing. Both I'm people. the test. It's like a test here. Mm -hmm. It's like a test. It's like, what are you talking about? It's, it's like, like we'll take a test or no, it ain't like you taking the test. It's your assignment for the day. The test is going to be long like that, too. That's your assignment. I'm dead, Mommy. Mommy, I'm dead, Mom. Mommy, I'm dead, Mom. Very good. Where is your H at? We use that boy you got that backwards. It should be A-S. What should be right here? No. Look at your name up there. We get more than 30 minutes to take our assignment. Yeah. It's very pretty. You just got one of the letters mixed up. What you need to do? Just pull it off? Yes, just pull it off. Cause it, no, 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 no. A is right. A comes first, then S. Very good. Where are your H at? Take it out. Put it right there. Now where your L need to go? This one? No, 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 no. Don't take it out. Put the L right there. But it don't have no good one. It got some on the, on the L. You already had some when you stuck it while ago. You need more? Or that's good. I need more. I just need to put it on there. So what I'm going to do is, it's 1040 in the yeah, morning. Mom. I'm going to give yeah, them an additional 20 minutes. Now I'm going to put the cup For the math assignment before we move on to the next assignment. We have, yeah. oh, Jesus, <laughs> we have deadlines we have to meet. We have other subjects that we need to talk about. We can't spend all day on this. So you need to be focused. I think I need to move y'all out of the room when I'm having discussion with her. Is that distracting you? Somebody give me some feedback. Let me know what's going on. I'm being distracted. By what? Uh, he he will be the first person to take the opportunity to make an excuse. Where'd he go? Mommy. Where is he at? Mommy, Dad. There you go. Dad with my coconut tree. Um, you are done. It looks very beautiful. You know that? 
making he making oh, stuff. Not there are distract because there are distractions in life and you got to keep pushing forward. I get distracted all the time. Don't let me get started. Anywho, and then I have to just bounce back. So I, I'm not going to hear any excuses. I'm going to give you an additional 20 minutes. Go ahead, guys. See you playing right now when you could be pill, looking bro. at number five because you still on number four. Until you finish five, you on four. Have I living room or something? No. No, you can stay right there. You need to be able to work through pressure and you need to get up all them sharpened pieces that you had. It's a trash right beside you somewhere. I don't really have too much to say. That's what we're doing right now. Um, we're gonna be um don't beat your head, baby. You need that. We're gonna be talking about place value I know for at least three three to four weeks. Um today we're gonna talk about expanded form, word form, standard form. That's what we'll be talking about. Today, um, this is pretty much this first page was it was their bell ringer, then their assignment. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, so of course I have a fourth grader and a fifth grader for place value. Yeah, well, that is a neutral subject. I mean, I think in fifth grade you go to the hundredth place, but I mean they both need to know that. So this. First lesson in place value, I will be teaching them together. But when we move on to the other topics, then I'll go ahead and separate them according to grade level. But place value definitely is one of those things that they need to know together. And right after we do place value or at the same time, I haven't decided yet. I have an economics book that I'm going to look through today and pull some things from to start talking about money. Because that's important too. Then we'll get to all the other stuff. So we'll be on place value for a couple of weeks, I know. Place value and money. First of all, we ain't going to say we can't do nothing. We're not going to say that. You can, okay. Okay. All right. All right. So take number four. Write that number on the back. Put number four right here. Write that number and look at all that space you got. There's a way to fix everything. Mom, what is, what, mom, what is that question mean? Circle number four so you don't get it mixed up with your number. Mm -hmm. Then go back to the number four. Write that number down and write your answer on the back where you have more space to write. Mom. Yes, sir. What is this question mean? I see space on this one. Mom. Mom. Mommy, we haven't talked about that yet. Mommy, we haven't talked about that today. Can I put that's some more just, coconuts on the mm -hmm. tree? Um, if we had more coconuts, we could definitely make more coconuts. If you need more, you need more. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let me get off here so they can focus because they only got a few more minutes before we move on to the next thing. Like eating. Homeschooling. Like, like eating too.